Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty I YouTube channel here on Scrapping for Less. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a new project using some Scrapping for Less goodies, and guess what? They're on special sale. I hope you'll stick around and see what I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to the Scrapping for Less channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. Before I get into the meat of today's video, I'm not sure if you've already heard, but Scrapping for Less has announced that at the end of the year, they're closing their virtual doors. Teresa made an announcement last weekend, and I will link that video in the description box below. I'm sad for us as crafters, but I'm super excited for Teresa and her family. Everything in the store is on sale right now, and the stamp set that I'm going to be using today is at an even deeper discount, so make sure you check out that link and stock up. For today, I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to make a quick and easy fall card using Scrapping for Less's Cozy Fall Paper Pad, their Autumn Blessings die, and of course that stamp set we just talked about. From the fall paper pad, there are two of the patterns that actually look like a knit sweater, so I thought that would be really neat with the sweater in the stamp set. Once I start on the process, I will go to a voiceover. If I leave you with any questions, make sure to leave those in the comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! To start today's card, I will be doing the stamping and I will be using that sweater, stamping it with Versamark ink onto this scrap of ivory cardstock. Once I have it set up in my Misty, I do run my embossing buddy over that cardstock so the embossing powder only sticks to where I want it. Once that's stamped, I pour on that detail gold embossing powder and get that heat set with my heat tool. I do always warm up my heat tool for about 30 seconds off camera before I bring it to the back of my cardstock and then when it starts to melt, I go ahead and bring it to the front and finish that process. Once that was heat set, I did bring in a small pair of detail scissors and I fussy cut the sweater out from the rest of the cardstock, leaving just a small white ivory border around all the edges. Now I'm going to be doing the die cutting. I got out that Autumn Blessings die along with a scrap of ivory cardstock. Because this is a very detailed die, I did go ahead and cut a piece of just random purple cardstock to use as a shim below the sandwiches on my embossing plates. This helps it so it cuts it nicer and is easier to remove from the die when you're ready. Because this is such an intricate die cut, I did go ahead and save that negative for now, and you'll see later that I'm going to put that to good use. For today's layout, I decided to use the October 2020 sheet load of cards. I will link the video in the description box below where you can find out how to download this for free. Instead of making a whole sheet load of cards though, I am just using the single card dimensions from the sketch and supply list page. Off camera, I did go ahead and pre-cut and fold my card base, as well as cut each of the pattern paper pieces to size. Now for the mat on that blue square, I did cut a piece of thin weight vellum. Before moving on, I decided to go ahead and put together as much of the card as I did. So I adhered the large floral piece to the card front, and then I adhered all the pieces of my kind of focal rectangle together. Before I can put that focal point onto the card front, I do need to get my sentiment onto it. This is when I pulled back in that negative piece and I trimmed off the edges just so I had a better idea of how wide that sentiment would be. Next, I tried to line that up centered as best as I could at the bottom of that focal piece and then I used a piece of scotch blue removable tape to hinge that down. Now I'm going to carefully add some art glitter glue to the back of my fine die cut and use a pair of tweezers to get this laid down in the opening that that negative die cut made. 
while it doesn't go in there perfectly, if you usually fiddle with it a little bit, you will get it to lay down where you need it. Now, just to make sure that none of my glue was going to adhere the negative part of the die cut to my card, I did pull that up after I adhered each of my pieces. Once I had all of the pieces adhered down, I just went ahead and pulled that back up and that scotch blue removable tape removes so cleanly and nicely. Now it's time to get my little sweater put onto that focal rectangle. I decided to use some mini foam dots and that just got kind of centered a little skewed on that knit pattern paper. Once that was done, I brought in my big blue roll of foam tape. I believe this is the three quarter inch width that I have. And I added a couple strips of that to the back of the sweater piece so that I could place this centered onto the card front. Before I call this card done, I brought in some of my little gold pearls because I wanted to add one where I lost the dot on the eye. Not only does this add a little extra sparkle, it also brings in that gold embossing from the stamped sweater. Here's a couple looks at the final card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made today's card. If you did, as always, we appreciate a thumbs up. Don't forget to go check out the online store for the great sales. And until our next video, I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye-bye.